it's a very cold day very very cold like about 30 degrees it's cold for me at least okay cold for me at least but today it is not that bad of a day so you see me out here i'm in a vacant lot but it's more than just a vacant lot it's a big vacant lot <laughs> okay so we actually uh picked up this property it's about two and a half acres comes with this road and the road is not really improved Let's see how well you can see that so there's a barrier back there let's see if i can bring the barrier in there basically blocking off the road so stuff like this man like this is um these are tough ones to gauge now as far as what we have it under contract for i think it'll work this is one of those ones where you know this is a hit or miss when they are hit or miss properties like this don't keep them on the contract for a long time you know we're gonna keep this under contract maybe five days if we can make something happen we'll make it happen if we can't we'll go ahead and cancel the contract you know like this one for example a lot of grading a lot of stuff that needs to be done to the actual property in order for it to be able to be used and it, it, it gets complicated this is raw land this is like real raw land there's a river that's off to the side or a little creek running down here runs underneath the road this road is unimproved so that means that uh the city has not really been improving on this road they haven't repaved it there is pavement underneath all this vegetation so that's a good sign this is part of the day guys so got the contract signed just got all the information that i needed for the attorney's office we're gonna go ahead and send out the email since i'm already here taking the pictures house is right around the corner it's in a good neighborhood so the neighborhood is fully developed let's say if we got all the home sites ready to roll and you know we are able to build on this and build quite a few homes on here we could build i think about I think it's like 12 home sites you tell them sell for about 250,000, 300,000. so we would have a nice neighborhood that we can put together we'll see what happens i got a couple guys that'll hit on this it's in a really populated neighborhood we'll see what happens and continue on in the day see how many other deals we can pick up So I made it back home and right now I've got quite a bit of stuff to do. Um, <laughs> busy, busy day. It's always busy like this, sometimes busier than this. this is crazy, but I've only had to see one property today. Thank God. Um, I got to work on my marketing actually. So my text messaging has been steady and strong for the past couple of weeks, cruising over a thousand a day up to boosting up to almost 2000 a day, which is good. But now that everything is dropping off, got to add more stuff into the system and just basically keep repeating the same thing over and over again. Hitting these people, hitting these people, hitting these people daily, consistently, just nonstop. I, I'm trying to get over 2,000, trying to bring it up to about 3,000. Now we're in February, so for the month of February, that's my goal is get it up to 3,000. Uh, and so far, so good. To get these properties, we go through a lot of stuff to get them. This is not, I know that I, you know, flex on my Instagram or sometimes even on YouTube, I'll flex about how much money I, I make on these deals, but you guys might not be able to see just because it's, it's not possible unless you're in it, is all the work that goes involved. And just to give you an example here, luckily I got my notepad nearby. All right, so you can see my, my lovely drawing of my house. We're gonna call this a lead, all right? We hit these people with a lot of marketing. So they'll get three text messages. So three text messages, two RVMs, and then three to five phone calls. And even though we hit these people with this much marketing, this guy right here might not answer the phone. He might not answer the text messages. We might not ever get in contact with him. So when hitting these houses, don't think that like, you know, one house is gonna produce something immediately. Like you could be hitting it for months before they, they come back and be like, hey, you know what? You call me all, all the freaking time. <laughs> you know, now I'm ready to sell. That happens all the time. But don't think that we just call one house and we get deals. Don't happen like that. Now, what we do is that same house will find 500 other houses that look just like it and we'll do the same thing over and 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 over again until they tell us to stop calling tell us they're not interested or tell us yeah i am interested in selling that's the way that works and that's how we are able to do all this stuff that we do it's not just something that happens overnight this took years to build 
okay um years of a lot of failure there, this was not like oh yeah you know i just thought of this idea and it just you know it came together no lots of failures i had to experiment a lot you do a lot of a b testing if you guys are in the marketing world you know that um like for instance what can i ah you know what i use a perfect example good old iphone so the design of this iPhone has changed dramatically since the first iPhone. It, some of you were alive when the first iPhone came out and some of you were born after the first iPhone that came out. I think if you're 12. The point is that uh, they tested the design of what people would want this iPhone to look like. And maybe each design goes through a ABC testing and they get feedback from different people on what they want things to look like. Even logos, logos go through A-B testing, like this right here. I'm actually gonna try this Death Wish coffee for the first time. They go through A-B testing to see which logo performs better, which one is better to the eye, you know, which one catches somebody's attention. I did the same thing with text messaging, RVMs, and with phone calls. I tested out what works. I tested out people's templates. I asked myself, what would I respond to? It, it, this is a lot of things that went into it with the whole A-B testing thing, but that's basically marketing 101. You test, you test, you test, and you always are testing. Even now to this day, I'm always testing something different with my marketing just to see what works better and what could possibly produce something that would be worth it for us, you know, and worth to keep throwing money at. Jarring for dollars is one of them, you know? It's, it's constantly a test, and I constantly do other things to remind me how well Jarring for dollars works. So I'm going to jump on this, um, put in all this text messaging that I got to get done, see what else the day brings. It's currently 2.37, so I've been home for a while. I've actually just been, you know, eating lunch and doing a couple other things, making a couple of phone calls. So let's see if these guys can pick anything else up for the rest of the day and see what else the day might bring. So you guys got to see a little glimpse of exactly what I do. And as you can see, it is not easy to get those text messages to the point where they're actually rolling out consecutively. It's a lot of work, a lot of patience, uh, a lot of time that goes into it. Just moving all the stuff around. You know, there are some other softwares that you can use and also online stuff to do a lot of the list scrubbing that I'm doing but this is what I found to be easier for me and it's been working out pretty well. Um, usually I can scrub it out really quickly and get all the people that I've already been hitting or you know, like there I was just putting together the actual campaign itself and making sure the phone numbers were validated to make sure that they were cell phones that I was contacting and not cell phones and house phones because of course you can't text a house phone. So I got that wrapped up, pretty good day today. We picked up about two more contracts besides the one that I picked up this morning. Um, the other two were from, one from cold calling, one from text messaging. And you know, we're, we're gonna see what happens in the rest of the week. It is currently Tuesday, February the 1st. And so far this week is already turning out pretty good. My goal every week is $100,000 a week. So far we're about 50% there. I already got $50,000 in assignment this week locked up and hopefully the rest of the week pans out so we can pick up another 50,000. And it's gonna be an incredible journey to continue to keep doing this stuff and just keep picking up these properties. I'm gonna be pounding you know, away uh, 1,500 to 2,000 text messages a day. What you guys saw me do right now is basically get about 600 text messages rolling out. It's going to gradually roll out over a couple of days to where it's finally at 600 text messages a day extra on top of what I'm already doing. So I'm going to be cruising around the 1700 to 2000 mark. And then hopefully by the end of next week or beginning of next week, we can be in the 2500 to 3000 text messages a day. So what I have already rolling out. I think I have four markets rolling out and then by next week I should be able to add two to three more markets. So I'm, I'm hitting a total of seven markets. Now the goal is that in every single market, if I can pick up at least two contracts a week, that means that I'm able to at least generate between 70,000 and 120,000 assuming of course that the assignment fees might be 10 to 20,000 a piece per week. And this is going to be, you know, intensive, not including the cold calling, not including the text messaging. And then on top of that, we're going to go ahead and incorporate mail. Um, mail is something that I 
didn't really touch for a long time. I've touched it in the past. I've made some deals happen from mail, but it takes a lot of mail and a lot of money to get mail rolling. And I do have a little bit of money now, so I can do mail on a consistent basis. My goal is to spend no more than $1,000 to $2,000 a month in mail. Starting out, of course, I wouldn't recommend anybody doing mail. When you, when you Once you already have two to three deals closed or about $20,000, I would recommend go ahead and shoot some mail out if you want to. I chose to invest more in text messaging, ringless voicemails, and cold calling than I did in mail. And I've been doing this already now for about four years. So it's crazy. It's been four years, man. I started in 2018. I had nothing. Closed my first deal that year and it was 1600 bucks. Second year, I closed five deals. My third year, I closed 20. So now being my fourth year in business, we closed over 60 deals. This year, I'm trying to double that. I want to do at least 300 deals between me and my team. And we're going to start trying to add more employees to the team as, you know, money comes in and, and the time comes in that we can see where our vulnerabilities are and where we lack manpower. So hope you guys enjoyed this, you know, not, you know, extremely eventful day, but you guys got to see a little bit into what my day consists of. I was also able to pick up 270 properties driving for dollars earlier when I was in that neighborhood where I picked up that big old lot. So productive day, got my text messaging ready to roll out for tomorrow. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys found this information valuable. And I'll catch you guys on another vlog.